Let the two vectors a vector and b vector be represented both in magnitude and direction by the sides OP and PQ of a triangle OPQ. Now, according to the triangle law of vector addition, if two vectors are represented in magnitude and direction by the two sides of a triangle, then their resultant is represented by the third side of the triangle taken in the opposite order. To find the magnitude of the resultant R, we draw perpendicular QE from Q on the side OP produced. Now, in triangle OEQ, OQ square is equal to OE square plus QE square as the side OE is equal to the sum of OP plus PE. Therefore, OQ square is equal to OP plus PE whole square plus QE square. Therefore, doing the A plus B whole square expansion, we get this as a first equation. Now, in triangle QPE, on applying Pythagoras theorem, we get PE square plus QE square is equal to PQ square. This will be our second equation. In the same triangle, cos theta is equal to PE upon PQ, where PE is the base and hypotenuse is PQ. Therefore, PE is equal to PQ cos theta. Now, putting the respective values of PE and QE in the first equation, we get OQ square is equal to OP square plus PQ square plus 2 OP PQ cos theta, where OQ is R, OP is A, and PQ is represented by B vector. Therefore, the last equation comes out to be R is equal to under root A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta. Equation 4 represents the magnitude of the resultant R. Now, to find out the direction of the resultant, suppose the resultant R vector makes an angle alpha with the direction of the vector A. Then tan alpha is equal to perpendicular upon base is equal to QE upon OE. As OE is equal to OP plus PE, therefore tan alpha will be equal to QE upon OP plus PE. Therefore, putting the respective value of OP which is equal to A vector, we get tan alpha is equal to QE upon A plus PE. Now, for the value of PE, using equation number 3, we get tan alpha is equal to QE upon A plus PQ cos theta. This will be our equation number 5. Now, again, in triangle PQE, sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Therefore, sin theta is equal to QE upon PQ, giving us QE is equal to PQ sin theta. As PQ is equal to B vector, therefore, QE will be equal to B sin theta. Mark it as 6. Therefore, using equation 6 in 5, we get a final expression as tan alpha is equal to B sin theta upon A plus B cos theta.